Ho! <laughs> yes! 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 Tottenham choke again! You had a two-nil lead! Oh, unbelievable! I wish. Listen, guys. I wish that would have been a live stream. I wish I would have recorded myself watching the game. I wish I would have done so many things. Dinamo Zagreb. Hey, listen, I wish there were fans. I wish there were fans so bad for you. I'm so sorry, Dinamo Zagreb fans that are out there. You guys deserved a victory. You deserved every single bit of it, and I'm glad you got it. In the end, Mislav Orsic. I, I'm not going to lie to you. I thought Mislav Orsic had already left Dinamo Zagreb. For some reason, I thought he left to one of the Red Bull teams. I thought it was Salzburg or Leipzig, uh, but he did it. And he was great in this game. He was lights out in this You couldn't stop him. A hat trick from Mislav Orsic on Tottenham Hotspur. Pretty much has sealed the deal for Jose Mourinho. I mean, you're out of the Europa League. Uh, pretty much done. You're not in the... I guess they are in the league enough to try and get the top four spot. But that's going to be difficult. You're in the Carabao Cup Final. A game that Jose Mourinho has to win to get you guys out of a title drought that you've had since, what, 2008? The seeds could not write themselves better. This is the greatest thing to ever happen to Tottenham Football Club. I absolutely listen. Ah, I'm dying. I can't stop smiling. I guess I was just watching the end of that. Game. The fact that it went to extra time. Tottenham had the chance of extra time to win it, and still somehow choked and blew it. It's unbelievable. Not only have have Arsenal moved on to the next round, which is amazing. Uh, now, Granada, in their first time in European competition, have moved on to the next round of the Europa League. And Tottenham Hotspur have failed to do so against Dinamo Zagreb. Unless Dinamo Zagreb go on to win this competition, this is the worst loss I think that Jose Mourinho has taken in a very long time. He took Manchester United to Europa League glory, so he's proven he can do it. It's just Tottenham are just synonymous with choking. Yeah, I, I, listen, Harry Kane, Harry Kane, we'll never see this video. Harry Kane, leave Tottenham. Deli Alley, you're a G, leave Tottenham. Please, Sonny Ho Min, sauciest goddamn Asian footballer in the world, leave Tottenham. You guys do not deserve to be in this mess. You do not. And I, you know, I will give full props to Tottenham. I think they did play better than Dinamo Zagreb in this game. I think they had the better chances. They had many, many more chances to create uh, in this contest. And Dele Alli and Harry Kane, they, just, they could put it any way. They really could not put it any way. And it sucks. Uh, because all you're having to do is protect a 2-0 lead. All you had to do was protect a 2-0 lead. And you still couldn't do it. Usually that's Jose Mourinho's thing. You park the bus and it's easy to protect a 2-0 lead. And you really couldn't do it. That's, it's amazing. I'm still baffled just thinking about it. Uh, listen, Dinamo Zagreb with Mis Mislav Orsic, uh, Tottenham should invest, go buy him instantly. If, if this man can can score goals like that, go buy him instantly. He would he would be transcendent. Uh, he'd be better than Lo Celso or Eric Lamella have been. Because Lo Celso, while putting together chances, was not great. He was, especially in that second half and extra time, was not great. So... Whatever you guys got to do to find someone who could help you bring help bring you any sort of title, whether it's an FA Cup, whether it's that Carabao Cup. Whether, I mean, it's not going to be the Premier League, so let's face it, that's out of the question. Uh, and it's definitely not going to be a European trophy because not only had, did you choke when it came to the Champions League final, you've now choked in the Europa League. And it's just going to go... Ah, it's, could not write itself. It could not write itself. Letting Misla Borsic... Score a hat trick on you in the second leg of a round of 32 Europa League tie when Arsenal, in the, at the same time, went on to advance in a really like, tightly contested game against Olympiacos. Arsenal got knocked out by Olympiacos in the same fashion by Yusuf El Arabi last year, and they learned their lesson this year. They put them away very early. They failed to score goals in their game, however, they could defend well. David Luiz helped them secure and defend well. And Davidson Sanchez on Tottenham couldn't. He was not great in this game, by the way. Davidson Sanchez looked like he could score goals better towards the end of this game when they desperately needed one uh, better than he could defend. He was not great at all in this contest. 
And I feel bad. I do feel bad for, for, some, for some of the Tottenham players because they created chances very well. It's just, in the end, you just couldn't get it done. You really just could not. And D Dinamo, Dinamo Zagro took the most of the chances. I think it was like 1.4 expected goals. And they scored three. He's not worse than trick. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. I love to see it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. If you've made it this far in the video, I'm sorry you had to hear my ranting. I just think it's absolutely amazing. I'll catch you guys for another video. Peace.